the Book 9 Plus. This is our next generation of our, from our Series 9 last year, and a couple of big changes from our Series 9 last year. It's still same beautiful design, aluminum body, but we have a touch panel control. And I can switch between the various Windows user interface. Great. And it also has that same 3200 by 1800 screen resolution. Nice. So the book uh, book nine plus is really a it's based on a premium design, uh, like I said, beautiful chassis. It's got an Intel Core i5 processor, so great for someone who really wants to make a statement. Still has the power to be able to run any type of application, but at the same time, very small, very light, very portable. Great. Now what I'm going to show you next is. A new feature that's going to be available in all of the Ative product, and that's a feature called Side Sync. Now, for this demonstration, I am going to use a USB, but when it is released, there will be an update to allow Wi Fi capability. Now, the benefit of having the USB is I can keep my phone charged while at the same time using my computer, and certainly backing up and syncing documents will be a little bit quicker uh, over the Wi Fi Direct. So, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to scan here through USB, and what you're going to see in a moment is it's going to clone exactly what's on my Galaxy S4 onto my computer screen. So there you go. That's cool. If I go into apps, right into the apps, and vice versa. So if I used my uh, mouse, I could scroll. So a huge benefit of this type of uh, feature would be someone, perhaps uh, a business user going on to a con call. Um, I can actually go into my home screen. I can go into my phone and make the phone call from there. I can dial the number. I can turn on the speakerphone. I can talk directly onto the phone without ever having to actually pick up the phone. Awesome. Now, while I'm on that phone call, maybe I get a text from someone. I can actually go into the text and start typing out whatever I want without actually typing the text on the screen. So I can do that as well. So I can do either one. That's neat. In terms of dragging and dropping, if I want to be able to uh, share pictures or photos, if I've got a photo here, I can drag and drop it right into the phone and it will automatically download into my downloads folder. I can open the folder from here and there's the picture. So it's an easy way of being able to share information between the two devices. Now I don't have this set up, but you can also set up the, uh, the phone to be an extended desktop. So maybe if you're fully utilizing the real estate on your screen, you're going to also be able to drag your mouse from the screen onto the smartphone and drag and drop, copy and paste uh, documents back and forth. So great. it's a great way of sharing both devices, your <coughs> smartphone and your uh, Samsung phone right on your screen. So this is going to only be available with Samsung Ative product and it'll be available initially with uh, select Galaxy devices including the S3, the S4, and the Note 2 and that may also expand uh, to our tablets as well. Great! Fantastic! So now with this Series 9 Plus laptop it's uh, you know it does have a price tag it's $14.99 but uh, for someone who really wants this, this beautiful design, uh, the, pretty much the same weight of the computer, we do offer what's called the Book 9 Lite. So it looks very similar to the uh, 9 Plus. The difference is instead of the aluminum chassis, we have a, a plastic body. It runs a quad-core processor. We have two model variations, one with the touch screen and one without the touch screen. Cool. So we still have, uh, and of course the price, $899.
So for someone who's more on a fixed budget but still wants the, the design and the performance, uh, this is what you get. Great. Uh, you don't get the 3200 by 1800 square, uh, screen resolution. But for a lot of people, this is exactly what they need in terms of portability, maybe students or someone who just wants to have a, a nice laptop in the home. Great. Can we get a side profile of both of these? Yeah. So we have pretty much the same inputs. On the side, we have a USB port. We have the earphone jack. Uh, we also have a dongle for the uh, monitor. And on the other side, we have another USB, we have a micro HDMI, and we have an Ethernet adapter jack. Great. So that's the same for both.